Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. Continue our start from scratch Elm Creek run, and looks like we just finished this contract here, just in time. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get you picked up, head you over to field 47, uh, which will be the next one that we do. In fact, let's go ahead and make sure we grab the contract for 47. Oh, I already have enough. Let's turn you in and grab you. Let's get over to 47 and get that done real quick. Won't take that long. It's pretty manageable sized field. And then we should be done with, done with contracts for the day. We can skip along to a new day, new month, and go from there. 47 just happens to be the field that I will potentially be buying as soon as we get enough money for it. So I'm all in favor of getting it cultivated, although it'll get cultivated automatically, to be fair, but we might as well. Get paid to cultivate effectively our own field. Wonder what the guy is planning on planting on here. Let's get you rolling for, real quick. Um, we'll do a quick pass to make sure there's nothing else that we need. We can go ahead and turn in this cultivating. Not this one yet, because we need the cultivator. cultivator. And is that it for right now? I think that's it. How's our equipment doing? Anything that's like really low? Looks like the lowest is 56%, which is our hardy mega 1200 liter. Uh, so it should be fine for a bit longer. The fence, tractors at 59%, everything else actually doing pretty good overall. So we will take that. Um, what else did we want to do real quick? Probably not a lot. So I might actually take over the cultivating here in just a second. Let me get him, let him get turned around. 48 might not be a bad field because it does in fact have sorghum on it. Although we would have to buy it like right now to be able to take advantage of that. Because it is harvest time for that. And since we don't have the money for it today, we will just ignore that fielding <laughs> is even there. Because, uh... I mean, we can still buy it, obviously. It's just, it's not. We're not going to be able to buy it for any sort of, you know, head start like uh, I was hoping we would. Honestly, what we'll probably do is wait for field 47 here to get some crop on it. Although, again, we could always put our own crop in. So, oh, I just realized this thing was down this whole time. Um, we could always put our own crop on it and uh, go that route. But we're not ready to buy it yet. So, we're going to let him definitely let him put some crop on it at this point. And we'll figure out the plan later. Hopefully put something good on it. Something that we can harvest. Anything that uses our harvester would be fine. I'm not doing a very good job of driving straight lines, am I? Oh, I even missed a little bit there. Hopefully it's not really going to matter. I mean, these contracts here are only worth a few thousand bucks, which not a ton. I mean, it's basically just pays for a little bit of the loan interest for a few months. Not much else. But that's okay. I 
It all adds up. We haven't sold any bread yet, have we? I don't think so. Yeah, because we just bought the bread thing, what, like two months ago, so we haven't even gotten to the good price for bread yet. So it'll definitely be very, very nice to finally, finally sell our bread. Now, bread is not, like, the most amazingly priced product out there. I mean, it's really not. It's actually probably one of the lowest. 1800 Um I mean, that's basically, like, soybeans are around 1500 Uh Cotton's, like, 1650 So I guess it's around cotton level. But, of course, what you do with cotton is turn that into fabric and clothes to really start making some money. I suppose we could be the ones that end up seeding this. If, if we haven't bought the field yet, he might actually give us the contract to seed it in the first place. One option would be, or could be, I should say, to um, wait to see what he's going to seed on it. And if he's going to seed something that we don't want, where it will actually just be more problematic for us to, uh, to wait because we'll have to, you know, either just plow over perfectly good crop or pay a lot of money for a harvester that we don't want to use which would unlikely be the thing that way that happens so if it looks like he's going to see something we don't like we might take that opportunity to go ahead and either sell some and do whatever we got to do to to get the um get the field at that point just to make sure that we're putting the right crop on it or the crop that we want on it Oh, I should probably go get my tractor that's got the trailer on it. I think he's actually blocking the road right now. <laughs> I should probably go uh, take care of that. All right, little worker. Let you take over for a second. Anybody behind him? I guess they've been going around. Well, more power to them. Actually, we need to... Say we need to turn you into a flatbed. We will eventually... Uh, by January when we need to move the bread around. I guess we can hold off for now. I don't know if we have to urgently do it right this second. Uh, we still have some wheat flour in here as well. Wheat in here to turn into flour. So we've actually got quite a bit of grain left. Definitely <laughs> so much potential income right now. I mean, 50,000 liters of flour, which turns into 25,000 liters of bread. I mean, that's, that's almost 50,000 bucks. I mean... It's going to be a little bit over 50,000 bucks, which you include what's currently um, about ready to turn into flour. So, not bad. And that'll definitely, like I said, get us, get us the field that we want. All right, I'm going to put a quick pause in the video or skip in the video. Let him uh, finish up and then we'll be right back to fast forward to the next month. All right, almost done here. There it is. Let's go ahead and turn these contracts in. Collect and collect. 45,000 bucks. Not bad. Okay, let's make sure I remember to actually pay off some of the loan this time so that we can um, save a little bit of money on, it's like 150 bucks on the uh, interest. And nothing else to do. Let's fast forward another day. Be ready to... Let's see. This is going to be October. Hopefully we get to fertilize our grass again. I'm out of growing all the way. Honestly, I, I just... I don't remember. I know it grows fast. I just kind of... I think the winter break messes up my timing of how fast grass grows. Uh, it looks like it's actually already grown. Yep, it is grown. 
So we can't fertilize, unfortunately. We just didn't get the second round of fertilizing. I did something wrong. I, I'm gonna have to go back and watch my videos at some point to figure out what, what I did wrong, because I don't remember why I didn't fertilize it twice. No biggie. Um, we need the mower. Jump the stuff over here. All right, let's go grab our mower. Oh no, we're in the negative. You start a while check on the situation. Oh, not enough money. Yeah. Yeah, 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 because I paid off my loan. All right, well, again, we'll do the same thing we did last time where we'll mow a couple times before we ever even bail this stuff up. Although, the sooner we start bailing, the sooner we get silage, to be fair. And since now that silage takes time to ferment you can always argue that bailing now would be better but i think in the grand scheme of things it'll be okay to just bail once um i want to check let's check prices real quick bread i mean 1633 is getting up there we still want 1800 that's our number but uh, it's not terrible and then what, what about silage i haven't actually looked at silage in a while partly because i keep forgetting that it's there Oh, it's going to be up here, isn't it? Silage. Number we're looking for, number we're looking for, for silage is two, 200, over 200. 225, technically. But anything over 200 would probably be pretty good. Any used equipment we care about? Not really. Um, forge header. I mean, it's nice. <laughs> the forge harvester for this header is not cheap. Uh, and then we don't, we don't have any use for this either. Um... How are we doing on bread? Is, is bread stuck by any chance? We may need to load up some bread just to uh, free up the output. No, it looks like it's okay. Man, we got 62,000 flour in there. Wheat's still going. That one took quite a ways away from being filled up. Each of these is a thousand liters. Too bad. Um, any evidence of what that guy's been planting on field 47? It's got weeds on it. It is growing. It has... Is that barley? Okay, we can work with barley. Um, so yeah, we definitely would like to buy field 47. And when's, it, when's barley going to be uh, done growing? Uh, it'll be done in... Okay, we got a while. So we got plenty of time to save the money to buy that field. And be good to go. In fact, we have plenty of money, plenty of time to buy that field and apply any fertilizer or anything like that he might have missed out on to help us with things. So, speaking of fertilizer and things, let's check contract. I mean, there's a bailing contract. It's a nice bailing contract. It's a decent sewing contract for field 53. Actually, not a bad sewer. That wouldn't take too long. Spraying contract. Honestly, I'm tempted to do all three of these bigger ones because... It wouldn't take a nightmare amount of time. And, um, see, herbicide. We'd have to empty out our fertilizer and go pick up some, but that's, that's doable. Or we could just grab the equipment, which I don't think we need to do. The wheat, 53 and then 19. What are the size of these fields or where are these fields just say? 53 is right there. Okay. That's not bad. And then 19 is, oh, that one. Okay, yeah, that's doable as well. Wow, these are all really not bad contracts at all. Well then, let's grab you. We're going to borrow items here. I mean, we have the equipment, to be fair, but I definitely would like it to go a little bit faster. So we're going to borrow the items for here. 
Sewing, we are going to borrow the items for that. Let's get the tractor over here, the, the mower guy first, to get him taken care of. And if we do all these contracts, we actually... Uh, no, still not quite, I think. We're going to be like a little bit short of being able to do the, uh, do the contracts. Or do the, by, by the field, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to, try to talk and drive at the same time. Um, let's get you up here to field 19. That is actually not a bad field. This is not going to take long to do at all. Um... You can drive back to town, to the store and pick up another piece of equipment. And we do have our, our silage trailer over there, so we can use that to pick up the bales if we want to make it a little bit easier. And technically, we can drop off some of that silage. Now, it will mean that we have non-fully fermented silage. We might actually just drop off our silage somewhere and then go pick up the new stuff. Because the new stuff won't matter. It, we can drop it off at whatever percentage to get credit for the... the contract and then hopefully save some left over for us as well <laughs> that thing does a wheelie. All right, let's grab you. Super large overkill of a wind rower. Let's have you drive up here as well. Um, we do want to grab the next contract. Or the sewing. We're gonna we're gonna borrow items for this one as well because it's got a bigger sewer. Spraying we won't borrow items for because we could definitely use our own sprayer for that. Seed. I mean, we're not going to eat this much, but it's okay. What are we sowing, by the way? Wheat. Easy enough. Let's get you driving to 53. Ah, uh, you're done mowing. Let's get you set up on the other field. You are here. See you unfolded. We've done 19 before. I don't feel like we have. You straighten up or are you going to go diagonal? You're going to go diagonal. that done you are here already set up for wheat and everything this is a kind of an overkill cedar i feel like for this i mean it's not a tiny tiny field but it, it is a pretty beefy cedar
Alright, already set up for wheat. Let's go. Um, next. You're good. You are here. Not quite ready for you, but we can always get you set up off to the side. Alright, um... For now, we will take over here. Actually, you know what I could do? I'm actually going to hire the worker again. I'm going to grab my red tractor. And I can either be ferrying more equipment over, since we're not quite ready for this anyway. Or I can have you go do the fertilizing stuff. Probably we'll just ferry some equipment over. I mean, it's going to take him a little... I mean, that, that wind rower is going to go so fast. I mean, we really need to give him a pretty lengthy head start. Our uh, baler is not a one-step, is it? On this on this uh, map? Um, let's see. Owning, owned equipment. Balers. No, that's just a standard baler. Yeah, there's the bell wrapper. So we do have a two-step. So if it was one-step, we would just grab that instead of the, using the one here. Save ourselves a little bit of effort, but that's okay. the biogas plant right here. Have we... I'm not sure if we dropped stuff off at the biogas. Maybe we have. Uh, I think we have, because I think we had some comedic, like, almost tip-overs or something weird happened on that one. I, I can't remember exactly, but I feel like there was there was a, something happened at one point on at the biogas plant early, early on. Biogas plants are pretty expensive. I think, like, the big one, I think it's like a million, million two or something crazy like that. Compared to like $50,000 that we just paid for the bakery. Anything close to a million, let alone over, is, is cr pretty crazy for uh, something like that. But silage still probably is. I haven't done the exact math. I would not be surprised if silage still is the absolute best thing you can do. Um, oh, I went too far. No... Can we sneak around over here? Um, it, the absolute best thing you can do. Like, it's just the absolute best moneymaker. At least it was in, in 19. And the best way to do silage, again, at least in 19, was uh, corn. You just plant a whole bunch of corn, grab a forage harvester, cut it down, throw it into a uh, bunker, cover it up, let it turn to silage, and go from there. Now, I think the purchase of this uh, actually comes with a couple bunkers, which is really nice. You're really struggling getting up this hill, buddy. What is your problem? I mean, it's not like the most powerful tractor in the world, to be fair, but still. All right, this makes pretty good progress over here. Just parked out here as well, ready to go. And I mean, do we have time to go get the other piece? Probably do, actually. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drive back and get the other piece. Uh, we'll call that an episode there, though. Uh, when we come back, I'll have the hopefully most of the equipment over here ready to start doing the wind rowing and all the other things that we need to do for this field. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.